hello everyone and welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be taking a look at my two Trangia cook kits we've got the 25 and the 27 here now I was chatting with a fellow outdoor enthusiast the other day on Instagram and he was asking specifically about the 27 unit and whether or not it was big enough for two people so I'm gonna um, try and cook a meal for two after we've had a look at both of the kits and uh, we'll try and compare them and if you're looking to, to buy one of these uh, hopefully this will help you in your decision so what we'll do first is we'll uh, we'll get inside and have a look at the, the 25 version so this is the 25 unit I've had this for a, for a good few years now now most of the Trangia kits that you buy they'll come with a an orange sack to keep it in and you'll get a strap like this to keep everything together as well so let's have a look inside so on the top here we've got a a non-stick frying pan the diameter of this frying pan is 22 centimeters so it's uh, it's large enough very good quality as well I've had these on campfires and everything over the years and the same uh, the non-stick seems to last very well and then you've got a, a cutting board here and a strainer and then inside you've got a kettle and I just have one pot in here but if you buy the 25 kit you will get two pots so inside the kettle I've got the the meths burner and a Trangia pot grip and the kettle itself is aluminium now I think this one holds 900 mil so almost a litre and you've got a, a rubber handle on there so you don't burn your fingers when you're picking it up off the heat and then I have I think it's a one and a half litre non-stick saucepan in here I mean you can see it's starting to get worn around the edges and that that's just off the, the constant use of the of the pot grip but you can see inside that the non-stick is uh, it's all intact they are very good quality and then, and this uh, this section here is the windshield so if you remove the strap you put it like that you put your gas burner or your your meth burner in there and that clips on there and that gives you the windshield now on the inside you've got these two uh, three steel clips here now if you keep them in the down position that will hold the the kettle in place and the pot and if you want to use the frying pan you just lift them up like that and the frying pan sits on top now let's have a closer look at the strainer and the cutting board you've got a section there that you can cut on and if you, you know, if you're cooking pasta or anything like that you can put it over the top and use that to drain the water out and you can see there's a gap there so you can get the the pot grip in and, and basically just strain your you know your water out like that so it's, it's all very functional it's all very useful and it's all very well thought out and the the windshield even though it is it's it's big and it's bulky it does really really work you know you can see how it kind of keeps the heat in there and it's actually quite quick to, to boil water in and, and to heat food up I've used this kit the 25 extensively while canoeing and it's, uh, it's served me and Tris really well you know we we often just heat up some uh, some curry or some stew in the pot and then we can fry up some rice in the pan and in the morning you can cook bacon and eggs in here and, and warm up some beans or what have you so it's this will definitely uh, easily cater for two people possibly you know two people and a, and a couple of small children even now I have got a, a couple of add-ons for this kit I've got the Trangia pot stand which is a useful addition it just fits in there and it allows you to put smaller pots on the burner for example I use a 750 ml uh, coffee press so I can just put that on there now some people will upgrade from the the, the aluminium kettle because this, uh, there are concerns about the safety of aluminium although none of them have, have been proven 
but a lot of people will upgrade to the GSI stainless steel kettle which I have here. Now this is actually is a really nice little kettle but it won't it won't sit on there perfectly. Once the water starts to boil and there's a bit of movement it can just fall off like that. But if you put the, the pot stand on you can get the GSI kettle on without any issue. It's quite a handy little kettle, it's got a nice wide opening on the top there so you can put vegetables in there to, to steam or boil. I've actually warmed soup up in here and ate directly from the kettle. So it's a, a handy little upgrade. Now Trangia do sell a, a gas attachment for these units as well. Now this isn't a, a Trangia one, this is a cheap one from eBay which cost me about £18. Um, I would probably advise people to pay the money for the Trangia one because this one it's, well, it's starting to come apart basically. Now I'll just show you how you fit the gas, the gas adapter. So on the bottom windshield you've got a, a gap here and the regulator just fits through there so if you go through the, the centre like that the gas burner will just sit on top and the regulator will come through that hole. Now I think that this is a, it's, it's pretty much a direct copy of the of the Trangia burner. So the uh, the gas actually goes by the burner so it gets preheated. It works, works really well. To be honest I tend to use the gas burner more than the uh, the meths these days. It's just a bit more cleaner. Um, yeah right so my thoughts on the 25, it's easily, easily big enough to cater for two people. Um, easily three as well I think. It's quite a large size unit. So I can definitely recommend the 25 size. The only downside is it is quite bulky and it's uh, it's a little heavy but if you're canoeing or car camping or anything like that or, or even a you know, cycle touring it's uh, definitely one worth considering. So we'll move on and have a look at the 27 cook kit. I'll just give you a, a look at the, the size difference there. The 27 is a bit more smaller, it's probably a bit more suitable for, for backpacking. So again you've got a frying pan on top, now this is the basic kit, so all, this is not, it's not the non-stick, it's all just uh, plain aluminium. Now you can get different materials in all the Trangia kits, now I'll put a link below to the Trangia website, you can have a, a good look through that and see what's available. Now the diameter of this, yeah it's um, 18.5 centimeters so it's still a, a decent enough size and again you get the the chopping board and the strainer pot grip and a kettle now I believe that the um, the 27 kettle holds 600 mil so it's quite a bit smaller than the 25 but it's enough for a, either one big coffee or a couple of small coffees in the morning. And then with this unit you do get two of the saucepans which just stack inside each other like that. I think one is 500 and one is 750ml. But, uh, I could be wrong about that. And then again you get a windshield which is slightly smaller than the 25, slightly more compact, but it works in exactly the same way. I'll just see if I can find the, the gas attachment. So you can either put the meths burner in or you can use a gas attachment as well. It all just, you know, it all just goes together in exactly the same way. So once you get your gas burner in, you just put the the top windshield on it and it works exactly the same as the 25. If you keep the, the steel stands down you get the kettle or your pots in there. And if you want to use the frying pan you just lift those up. If you've got the, the, the gas burner on you can just use that. That's what I tend to do so you don't burn your hands and then you can get your frying pan on top there. Now the Trangia pot stand does actually work on the 27 as well. So you can put that in there 
and you can use a, a 750 mil billy can or a small cup or anything like that. Now the the JSI kettle it doesn't really fit in. You know it's it's not going to work with the 27 years. You can't store it inside the, the the pot or anything like that. It's so if you're going to upgrade to the JSI or you want a stainless steel kettle, you're going to have to go with the larger kit, the, the 25. But um, I'll be honest, I haven't used this kit that much, but I'm going to give it a good go in a moment. And you do get a little um, booklet with them as well, which is quite a nice touch. It tells you a bit of information about the company. I think they've been making these, these style burners since the 1950s, so they have been around for a, for a long, long time. And you can read a, a little bit about the history. And they do have a few instructions about maintaining the kits and cleaning them and so on. So the build quality of both of the uh, Trangia kits are actually outstanding. These kits are still made in Sweden. It's usually stamped on all of them. Made in Sweden, on the side here. You know, these are made in the, in the Far East and shipped over. So they are really good quality um, and they are designed to be used in the, in the harshest conditions. They're tested up in the mountains of Sweden um, and the, the conditions up there are really, really tough. So you can have quite a bit of faith in these kits, I think. Now I'll just give you a look at the, at the options for, you know, for fuel. Obviously if you're using the gas, you're going to want a, a gas canister. Now we use this one with the 25 unit on our on a two week canoe trip in the summer and this gas lasted us the entire two weeks you know we weren't trying to conserve the gas or anything we were making about 15 cups of tea every day as you do and uh, we cooked breakfast lunch and dinner and because the uh, the windshields are so efficient this uh, this size canister lasted a couple of weeks that was in the summer in the winter obviously you're gonna have to move towards a, a more propane orientated gas canister or you can use the, the little burner successfully all year round. Trangia do make these fuel bottles. I think it's a 500 mil bottle. Yeah, but it's a 500 mil bottle. You know, you've got a, a kind of like a turn top spout here. If you tilt it off and press that, you'll get your fuel out. And you can fill your little burner up. Now the burners tend to last, some people say 45 minutes, but in my experience, you know, a full one will last for around 30 minutes. So you need to kind of bear that in mind, um, depending on what you're cooking. I'll just give you a, a closer look at the, the gas burner, the meth burner, sorry. So they look like that. You've got a, a lid there with a rubber ring. You can buy the rubber ring separately. It's a good idea to just buy a couple and, and keep them in your kit. You can adjust the heat on these things with the adjuster ring here. So you can kind of pop that open there and you get a smaller flame. But uh, again, in my experience, you know, it's, there's a bit of an art to it. I tend to just use them full on like that, especially when boiling water. So that's the, the meth kit. So both the 25 and the 27 kit uh, contain pretty much the same items. They're as functional, they're as well made as each other. The only real difference is the size. So yeah, back to the, uh, the question, is this gonna be big enough to make a, a decent meal for two people? Let's try and find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the frying pan for the first time really. I have heated some pancakes up in this once on top of a fell a few months ago, but I'm gonna get some oil in there and I'm gonna fry up some decent English sausages. And then we're gonna use the the balls to knock up some instant mash and, and heat up some vegetables and we'll we'll see how we get on. Well guys, the Trangia 27 has passed the first test. It's answered the question that every Englishman wants to know. Can you fit six sausages in that frying pan? The answer is yes you can.
So these sausages are cooked now. Quite interested to see how the aluminium pan holds up. So far it's been pretty non-stick. I mean you can see there's plenty of uh, coloration going on there so we'll have to see how it, how it cleans up. But I'm going to take these off now and I'm going to boil some water in the little kettle. We're going to use that to knock up some Idaho and buttery instant mash. So we'll just put those to one side, knock those down, get the kettle on and turn the gas up. So the vegetables have cooked and we'll just employ the drainer here to remove the water. There you go, perfect. So there you go guys, it's only a small unit, the Trangia 27, but uh, it packs enough punch to, to knock up a, a decent enough dinner for two. So I'm going to sit back and enjoy this now. Well guys that was great. I was really hungry so I enjoyed that. Now the um, the pan, I was a little bit dubious about buying just the basic aluminium set in case this happens, you know, in case it becomes an absolute nightmare in the field to try and clean the stuff. Um, I've used the non-stick pan for years now and it cleans up really well with just some warm water. This, I think it might be a bit more of a challenge, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back on the, on the burner. And I picked this tip up from uh, my mate Matthias. Uh, he's Swedish, so he knows what he's doing. I noticed he puts some water in the pans and then just lets it simmer. And hopefully that should kind of uh, make the cleaning process a lot easier. So I'm going to give that a go. So I've just been boiling a bit of water in the bottom of the pan here for about two minutes and all of the, the stuff that was previously stuck in the centre of the pan, it's all just come off now so this seems to be a pretty effective way to clean the, the basic aluminium cook kit. So I just emptied the water, I have a sponge, I just gave it a quick wipe, quick rinse with some cold water and it's, uh, it's cleaned up nicely. So in conclusion, I think Trangia have got it spot on when they say that the 25 unit is suitable for three or four people. If you can afford the extra space and weight, then this unit will serve you well. If you're canoe camping, for example, it's a, it's a brilliant, well-made, sturdy, versatile kit. Now I checked the price online before I left the house this morning and you can pick the non-stick 25 version up for around £80 here in the UK but you can get the basic aluminium one with the spirit burner for £60 so pretty good value in my opinion. Now I know we've concentrated mainly on the 27 today which has been good for me actually because I haven't used this unit much. It's, uh, it's impressed me to be honest. I was a bit worried about the, the aluminium just being really difficult to clean but if you put some water into the pan and get it back on the heat it's a little bit more hassle but it cleaned up really well. Of course, you could swap the aluminium pan out for um, a non-stick pan. You can pick those up separately for around £10. But to be honest, I don't think I'll bother. Now, I checked the price of this online this morning. The old aluminium version, you can pick this up in the UK for £45. Again, so exceptional value. If, uh, if there's two of you backpacking, I don't think you can go wrong with the, the 27 unit. Now I'm currently getting eaten alive by midges, which is really weird because it's the middle of November and they, they should be gone. So I'm going to sign off guys. Uh, hope you found the video useful. And as ever, thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you again in the next one.